All right, today I'm gonna show you how to change brake pads for real cheap on a Honda Civic. All right, we're gonna get them from this junkyard. I'm gonna show you how to find them, all right? Let's go check them out. Get your set of tools. Bring your socket set. And backup stuff. Whatever, uh, you know, normal, basic stuff. Bring that. Go in here and get this, man. Okay. Okay, we're in. Let's go. Ready? We're gonna go find these. Uh... Okay, right now, I'm in the junkyard looking for brake pads. Buck a piece. Let's go find them. This is for a 98 Civic. Let's look for the Civics. Don't even waste your time going up and down the aisles. Go to the center of the aisle and look at the bumpers. You know what your car looks like. Your front bumper, look for the bumper. If you don't see it in the aisle, move to the next one. Okay, here we go. The Civic's coming right up. All right, go this way. Yeah, here we go, we got Civics right here. And these brake pads cost like 98 cents a piece. Yep, 98 cents a piece. Let's call it a buck something after taxes. We're not even gonna get the warranty. I'm gonna show you how to get them, how to, what to look for, all right? I'm gonna look for some new pads, all right? I'm gonna show you how to sand them and get them ready to put on the other vehicle that we're gonna put them on, okay? Another Civic here. Like somebody took these apart already. But look, that's all it is. Just taking off this bolt right here. That's a 12 millimeter bolt. Just goes on this caliper like that. Just pop off that bolt right there. Slide it up like this. Bam, it'll expose the pads. We'll see it in a little bit, right? Let's keep looking. But what we're looking for is some good pads. Nice new ones, thick ones. They don't gotta be brand new. As long as they look fairly thick, that'll work. <clears throat> 95, I got a 98 Civic. Uh, I'm not sure if these will fit, but uh, I'm still gonna look for a 90, something closer to mine, okay? Let's keep looking, all right? As soon as I find it, we'll stop and we'll pull them off, all right? So. This is how you find brake pads for a buck a piece. It's cheap, man. These pads usually cost 20, 24, 25 bucks. But let's find them right now for a buck a piece, okay? It's gonna be like four bucks. Let's just say like six bucks out the door. All right, let's do it. Okay, we found one right here. We got this, uh, these pads right here. I don't even know what they look like yet, but uh, I don't have a lug wrench, but what you can do is you can go to, uh, any other car, any other Civic, or the same Civic, look for the uh, lug wrench inside the car. I don't see it in that one, so we'll do another one. I usually have them laying around all over the place, but of course today they're not gonna be laying around. No, Murphy's Law is. But usually I see them all over the place. Uh, but just in case, I forgot to bring my star wrench. I was gonna bring it, but I forgot all about it. So now we gotta wing it. So just look for a wrench. Okay, I couldn't find a lug wrench. Well, there's one somewhere here, but I'm tired of looking. Anyways, gotta rig it up, man. I mean, anyways, gotta handle it, okay? Get your socket. And the ratchet, <clears throat> put a tire underneath the wheel, so it won't spin as much. You're not gonna keep it spinning, but just hit it. I'll let you see. A little like that. Break them loose like that. Yeah, there you have it. 
Lost them all low. You can do it without a lug wrench. Okay? Now let's look at the patch. All these pads are no good. See? That's wore out. Alright? So we're not gonna use off. Let me show you how to take it off anyway. Let's just take a look at it. Let me show you what I'm looking for, okay? So just uh the bolt's too the torque's too strong on that bolt. Hit it with the uh, mallet. Okay, take that out like that. And we'll pull that up just like that. And that's your brake pad right there. The pads. See? Right there. Pull these out like that. Let me show you what I'm looking for. See how they wore down? You know, definitely these aren't new. But. These are so worn down that I'm not even going to take a chance of buying these. Okay? I just came to look for something that has a little bit more thick pad on it. Okay? There's somewhere out here. Let's go find it. All right? Put this down like that. That's how easy it is to change the patch, though, by the way. Okay, I'm looking at the pads, the thickness right here on this edge. It's too wore out, all right? Let's not even deal with that. Okay? All these will, although these will work, because it hasn't passed the brake wear indicator yet, look at that. These will work. But I don't want to deal with these. They're just going to wear out real fast. See, this one's really close. It's almost ready to start touching the uh, rotor. Once they start wearing out, this little brake wear indicator right here, We'll start rubbing on the rotor like that and start squeaking. Well, you can't hear it now, but you, know, you all heard that brake squeak in people's cars. Anyways, that's where it comes from. It comes from this brake wear indicator. All right, let's go look for the pad now. The thick for those of you who are wondering why I'm doing this, why I'm looking for cheap brake pads, I actually, I can just go buy them for 24 bucks, 25 bucks at AutoZone, but I'm just showing the people who can't afford these, man. All right? You don't got to go spend 24 bucks to get these things. You can come right here and get them. That's why I made the video. That way you can find out how to go get them, what to look for. All right? Anyways, this is how you do it, man, when, you got, when you're pinching pennies. All right? Let's go get it. Okay. Found one right here. Look at these pads. Look how thick they are. Nice. Perfect. I don't care about the rust. I'll show you how to deal with that. Okay, now, here's the thing though, look at this Civic, I got a 98, this year, I don't know what year this is, probably like a 96, I'm thinking it's a 96, because see these bolts here, <clears throat> these are still 12 millimeter, oh here we go right here, look in the, uh, right there, 96, I was going to look on the door jam, Look at this, all painted. Usually you can tell the year by the uh, manufacturer sticker there. Or you can also tell from the uh, VIN, VIN number, but I forgot which number, huh, not on there. It's back here, I think. Dashboard and everything's over here. Yeah, forget all that. Okay, now we look, we found one right here. So, I'm gonna take this off. In this but first I got these off of the 98 back over there remember when we uh, so off the other one? Off. Okay, let's pull these off let's see if they match and of course I forgot my screwdriver too so let's see wiggle those out up like this okay this is from the 98 this is 96 off of this one here 
98, 96. Let's compare them side to side. Oops, my bad. These are a little different. They won't fit. Okay? No good. Okay. Found these four pads. Got these four pads from this car right here. We came to this one earlier, but on this side. It's the one where I took off with the wrench, with my ratchet. I'm just gonna go with these, okay? They're not the best, but they'll last for a little bit. And that's what I'm working on, is a DX, okay? On the Civic, okay. Let's check this one here, all right? Oh yeah, found a lug wrench. <laughs> Finally. Make sure you bring a mallet. Most of the times you won't have uh, anything to hold these tires still. Keep it spinning. I'm leaning my arm up on it and banging it at the same time. Okay. Let's get this off and see what these pads look like. I actually found some pads already, but they're not quite as thick as I wanted them to be. <clears throat> Let's just go see how this works. Out. This is the older model too. 95, but the pads are exactly the same. Let me see. Here, bang on this part. Get it back to it. Yeah. Get a 12 millimeter socket. Put it on this bad boy down there. Hold this down. Apply pressure down like that. That way it doesn't wobble around. Then beat it down. Like that. Hold it loose. Pull that out like that. Slide that right out. From this side there. Don't worry about this one. Gently pull up like that. And look at the pads right there. Okay. Those aren't as thick as I wanted them to, wanted them to be, but that was not bad. You can go with that. This one. Almost close to wearing out on the brake indicator. Brake wear indicator. See that right there? It's starting to wear down right there. I don't really like that one. But uh this one I could do. This one right here. So now let's compare these to the other one. These two off of this car these came off the other one I just showed you okay these are exactly the same from a 98 here's these four let me see all right this one goes here from the other side okay these are from there from a 90, let me get down. Right. Okay, 
Okay. These are from this 95. Right here. All these right here. It's from this 95. Yeah. These are from the 98 back there. I like these better because they're thicker. I think I'm going to run with uh, half and half, all right? So I'll probably use, I'm not using this one, definitely. Look at that. No good. See, so let's count that out immediately. That one is right on the border. No good. This one doesn't have a brake wear indicator. It's wearing down, but you can still use that. This one is a little thinner. I don't want to use that. So I'm just going to stick with these here, okay? These ones are better right there. See that? These are a little thinner. So this one's out. Okay, this one's not bad. It's wearing down, but better than the other ones. I'm gonna go with this one definitely right here. Okay, so, now, the shoes, these four right here. Okay, let's take all these bad boys home, throw them on, all right? Let's go with these right here, okay? These are a buck a piece, like 98 cents a piece. Let's call it a buck something. Okay, let's take these home and throw them on the uh, the ride, okay? Probably just gonna use two of them though, because only one side is uh, squeaking. Okay, I just went with two pads only, because only one side is squeaking. But if I wanted to get all four, it would've been like 10 bucks. Right now, it was 4.37 total for those two pads, so, there you have it. That's a cheap way to get them. 95 cents a piece. Well, of course, they got all this other junk. They add to it. Entry sales tax, environmental charge, two bucks. Subtotal 406, tax 31 cents. 437 was the total for two packs. All right? So, that's how you do it if you want to get them cheap, man. Where are they at? Right here. I just got these two right here. Okay? I don't care about the other two. These two are good enough, they'll do the job. They'll stop the squeak, they'll stop the squeaking. And just throw these on when we get home. And that's how we're gonna do it. Cheap, real cheap. Alright, let's go to the house. Thank God for uh, junkyards, man. Real cheap places to go and get parts at. Alright now, time to put the pads on. I just got two because that's all we need. This is the side that's squeaking, but you can get both sides if you want, don't matter. Another tip right here. Put the wheel, show down here. Put the wheel underneath the car. Like this. Put it under something. Like this, solid. In case the car drops. Should have dropped though. We were, we're pretty good. But just in case, it'll drop on the rim. Like if you got your legs or your feet under here or whatever, it'll be safe. It's a safety precaution. So make sure you secure the vehicle, and then this is a backup in case it falls. Yes, cars do fall on people. It happens. Just make sure it doesn't happen to you. Okay. Now, right here is a 12 millimeter uh, sock, um, bolt. So get your 12 millimeter socket like that for this way. So hit it this way. Crack it loose. Okay, take the bolt out. All there is is one bolt. Okay, take that out, pull that up. There's the brake pads right there. No, get over here. Right there. There's the brake pads right there. Now, this is probably the one that's squeaking, and it is. Back up so they can see what I'm doing right here. Okay, I pulled this one out. Now, let's take it out. Let me show you why it was squeaking. <clears throat> you see this point right here? Look at that. That's a brake wear indicator right there. That's telling you, that tells you when your brake pads are wearing down to a certain point to where it hits this. And that's why we got squeaking going on in this car. So that's what the problem was. And this is why it was squeaking. Rubs on there. Rubs on there like that. But you want to hear that. Because if this is broke, like that, and you don't hear that pin, 
and it starts grinding on the metal, then you're gonna ruin your rotors. So the brake wear indicator, you want that thing to scrape, actually. When you hear it, that's a good thing. It's just an indicator that tells you it's time to change the pads. But if they ever break it off, break off like I just broke it like there, right there, and they do sometimes, you won't know that this pad is wearing until you hit the metal. And once you hit metal, it'll start grinding in the rotor, then you need a whole new rotor. So that's that. So here's the pad we got from the uh, from uh, the junkyard. This is good. Look at the brake wear indicator on that. There's a lot of uh, pad left. Much better compared to this one. Oh, I broke it. I forgot. But that's much better. See that? We're going to put that on there. And uh, this pad looks pretty decent here. Show this pad right here. See this pad? I'm going to leave that pad. Let's go back a little bit. I'm going to leave that pad. But that pad is thicker than the one we got from the junkyard. Okay? So I'm going to stick with this and then put this new one from the junkyard. Okay? All right, but first, before we put it on, I'm going to right. sand it. Now, before we change the pad, before we change this pad here, I want you to see this. Bring it right here. Look at this, this buildup. All this dirt and grime. Well, really, it's brake dust. Okay, let's go back to here. This is brake dust right here. See? It gets all filthy and nasty in there. Like that. And right here, this is the retaining clip that these slide on. This right here slides inside here. Just like that. Back and forth. Each time you apply the brakes, it slides back and forth. So, what you got to do is you got to get these clips clean. All right? Let's do this. Of course, I don't have my rag. Clean these out like that. And if they're, get, if they're gunked up too much, take this. Take this, get some sandpaper, rub it on the inside. Or just take it off. Get all that gunk off there. Like that. Do the same thing up here. Show this up here. I'll clean this up here. This sandpaper I got right here, this is 80 grit, I believe. Oh no, this is 120. This is 100 grit. All right. So, get the sandpaper and the uh, rotor. So normally, you put it on a flat surface and go like this. This floor is not flat, but do that. Put it on some flat concrete or a wood block or whatever. But for now, I'm just going to go like that. So you get it. And knock all that glaze off. All right? Yeah, right. done deal. This one's done. Now, this is the one from the junkyard. Just lock, knock off the glaze on that. Remember, it's better if you do it on a flat surface. And lay down your sandpaper and go like that. Knock all that glaze off like that. He does, it doesn't even matter if this was a rusty one from the junkyard, you can still knock that rust off. If you got emery cloth, that's even better. They sell that at the auto parts stores. Okay, these two pads, they're done. They're ready to go on. But not, we're not done yet, though. Okay, these retainer clips. After you get them, uh, this is any C's right here. After you get them cleaned up, put some any C's on like that. Make sure you don't get the stuff on the rotors either. Like that. Okay? Bring it a little closer so you can see this. And you want to get the uh, anti seize on the clip on the inside like this. Show up, right? All right. And I'll show this one. Now let's put this pad on. This is the one that was on it. Got plenty of uh, pad on that. All right, so let's slip this on like this. 
bring it right here so they can see. Right here. Just put the paddle on like that. Squeeze it in. Done deal on that. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. Clean the clips. Clean the clips out. Now, any seats? Sand it. This is the junk out one. Okay. Get it all cleaned up. Okay. Show this one. Okay, now you're gonna put it on. Let's see. Just put it on the top first. Then push it up. Slide it in. Okay. Let's do it again. Put it in the top first. There's a little spring tension right there. Put it on the top, then look at the bottom. Bam, just like that. Okay, we're not done yet though. Look, you can't close it. Why is that? Show this right here. Because this piston is sticking out. So let me show you how to deal with that. Okay, now, in order to get this piston back, show the piston. In order to get that piston back so that we can close this, you see we're hitting right here. You need a C-clamp. You need the C-clamp. So. Get the C clamp in there, like that. I'll show it up here. Show this area right here. Now, okay, now back up, right there. Now get that, get that piston back by screwing this like that. So the piston's gonna wanna go back. It can probably fit right now, but let's just go more, okay? So, okay, now, I'm taking it out now. Because the piston, that should be good enough. Should be far enough right there. So now, drop it in just like that. And there you have it. Now it fits. <clears throat> so you remember we had to push that piston back in order for this area on the caliper to go all the way down like that. Okay, and there you have it. That's how simple it is to change the brake pad that easy but before we finish here let's apply some uh, silicone to the back of the pads okay and put some here and here just to keep down the vibration then on the back of here where it touches on the uh, piston back here. Put it in the back of that, slide it down like that. Bam, done deal. Okay, now, now back to the 12 millimeter bolt. Okay, let's put this on. Righty tighty, wiggle this around so it'll fit in right. Get it started. And then go like this. Then tighten her up. And that's a wrap for that. But we're not done yet, still. See, okay, now that's pretty tight. Right there. That's good enough right there. Now, there you go, done deal. Usually what I do is I take the emery cloth or whatever sandpaper I got and I'll spin the rotor, but, he, but I can't right now because the other wheel's sitting on the ground and I forgot about that. So, just sand it. Usually I'll spin it and hold the, hold the uh, sandpaper like this. And it'll spin. I'll spin it and then it'll, uh, I'll sand it at the same time. 
Why am I doing this again? Because I'm knocking off the glaze. After a while, the uh, rotors and the brake pads develop a glaze on the uh, surface of the material, and then it'll cause your stuff to squeak. So, I'm just gonna knock this glaze off on this, just like that. Call it good. All right? Well, that's how you do brakes right there. It's that simple. Don't overthink it, man. It's that easy right there. Let me go in and hit the brake. Hold on, leave it there. Good to go. And that's how you change your brakes right there. Make sure you don't get any of uh, the uh, silicone or the lubricant, the uh, NECs on the brake pads or the rotors. See? That's how you change the brakes for real cheap. Get them from the junkyard for like a couple dollars and change them like that. That's it. Don't forget, man. Keep Christ in your life, man. Always put God first, man. And remember, with God, all things are possible. Strong handling.